good evening uh, from Boulevard Lake. This is very exciting and risky now because I am uh, I'm paddling with Vivek, my dear friend, and uh, he can't swim. Um, last year this lake was dry and I thought that this is a safe place without any water. Um, but we are we are here in shallow water so that if we do something like that if we roll uh, we will stay alive um, and I hope that Vivek will uh, learn to swim here in Canada this is a good summer to to do it um, I'm, I'm honoring life I don't want to kill my friend uh, Vivek um, we, we talk about honoring life a little bit um, Vivek you are a vegetarian why is that? Yeah, so even though I don't know how to swim, it's so fun to uh, come in a canoe and I got life jacket and I got Yari to save me if I <laughs> fall down in the water. But yeah, as a Yari mentioned, like I'm a vegetarian and uh, I come from like a vegetarian family. My In my entire life, I've never eaten meat or not even egg. So it's mostly because my family is vegetarian and the reason we are vegetarian is uh, religion because we follow hinduism and hinduism teaches us that uh, every animal on the, or every life on this uh, planet has like equal uh, value so no one is right to like kill other animals just to eat them and then another main reason which i personally believe my family is vegetarian is because i come from a farmer's family and we used to use uh, animals in our farm like we'll use uh, ox and bulls and then we'll use cow for milk so we are like deeply connected to them and uh, we consider them as our pet only so that's also so these are the two major reason we don't eat meat it's like uh, because we use them in farm and we are deeply connected with them and the another reason is like uh, religion because Hinduism that's what we learned and we all grown up with so yeah my friend I have to tell you that I ate meat this afternoon and tasted good and I don't feel guilty um, um, I'm, I'm asking you is, is uh, vegetarianism a sustainable way of living if we think about the whole population of the world like uh, if we if we just all eat plants and salad and berries and mushrooms and things like that um, is there enough would there be enough food for for all people in this world oh uh, yeah like talking about sustainability I don't think it's possible for like entire world to go vegetarian because I come from a place where like uh, my family is engaged in farming and then all the people uh, from the place where I come from like everyone is engaged in farming somehow so we produce our own food and uh, it is possible for us but like yeah if you put it in like a bigger level then I don't think it's possible to feed everyone just on a vegetarian diet because uh, yeah there are like 7 billion people on this earth and it's nearly impossible to feed everyone just the vegetarian diet and uh, the other reason like I personally don't eat meat it's because uh, what I believe is like if you hunt an animal then I'm fine with it because you are respecting that life or you're honoring that life but you the thing I don't like is uh, how they breed them in like this animal farms and how their life is not concerned they, they don't treat them well when they are they are just using them as a product so that's where I feel like and that's why I don't eat meat even after moving to Canada the only sole reason is that only that I don't like the way how they treat them in like this animal farms where they breed them just for the meat so yeah so you are still going to battle with me even though I ate meat this afternoon oh yeah definitely <laughs> good we uh, encountered a sad occasion here there was a flock of mullards and, and one of them is uh, crippled and uh, looks like 
her feet is broken and I ask you um, Vivek uh, would it be more more merciful to hit hit with uh, with this paddle the the, the the mullard and and finish her life so that she doesn't need to suffer or do we honor life when we just let her stay there and live without any future yeah i feel so bad for that one the one which was which is left behind but and uh yeah over here like i have two point of view like the first one is like uh, we can definitely end its suffering and uh help her or him to yeah end the suffering but at the same time again it's like i feel like uh, who are like we to decide that uh, that bird so uh, deserve to live or no maybe it may learn living on one leg or maybe it will be a prey for eagle or anything can happen but yeah at least yeah that's another point of view like that who are we to decide in india uh, cows are holy animals uh, um, tell me something about that so like uh, from hundreds of years like cows we use them in farm and then uh, we use cows milk and then even like cow dung the people like couple of decades ago like 40 years or 50 years ago before uh, gas and all become uh, normal like people used to use like cow dung to burn and to yeah cow dung was like a main source of uh, fuel for burning and uh, we used to use cows in the farm Vivek I feel very bad because I just saw you killing a mosquito um, and I think that uh, we damage life anyways like if we take a step or or if we ride our car or whatever it, it happens um, but we are about to finish this uh, uh, nice and uh, beautiful and also dramatic uh, trip um, uh, do you have a chance to go canoeing in India in your home areas Vivek? Uh, we do have like a big lake uh, where I live and it's close to my village it's like 400 meters or something to my village and it's pretty big lake and even if it doesn't rain for like a couple of years there'll still be water in that lake but we never go canoeing or we never go kayaking and stuff because that lake has a couple of crocodiles in it so it's yeah it's not safe for us to go so the crocodiles don't honor your life Vivek <laughs> no they only honor their food 